Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you, depending on where you're watching us from. Uh, it's been a while you didn't see my face. Uh, today, we are on it again. I made a very bad mistake, or a mistake, a bad mistake. This is according to Dele Momodo, who uh, he publicly tenders apology for working against good luck, Jonathan. When our eyes don't open <laughs> by force, hunger can wake people from sleep. Your own case is not hunger, but being selfish. Uh, thank God for you have come to your senses. But it is a way too late. Um, the dead deed has been done. Nigeria is finished. Who can rewind back 2015? Anyway, Nigeria journalist and uh, publisher Chief Dele Momodo ha um, has again come out to tender his apology to former President Goodluck Jonathan for working against him. That was in 2015. Hmm. You guys were all deaf when we were telling you that this Nkanabia, this particular one, is a bad market. Now you see, had I known is the case, had I known, you are regretting. Anyway, Dele Momodu's apology is coming after he shared a social media post by former President Goodluck Jonathan dated June 2011 where he battled the inflation of cement price, check cement price today. And reacting to a post, uh, a follower accused him, Dele Momodu, of working against Goodluck Jonathan. Remorsefully, uh, Dele Momodu replied he made a bad mistake and publicly apologized for it. Uh, you can see the post below. Uh, Newsport records that uh, the businessman and motivational speaker Momodo has previously apologized for the role he played during 2015 general election. He said he realized uh, the plan to oust Jonathan was masterfully executed. Masterfully executed. And you were trapped in it. One know they hear till it become bad. See what the whole country is facing. Security wise, economy wise, because of your mistake. Anyway, make, uh, let her hear your case. Anambra Goba Tribunal begins sitting as petition increased to 13. They are going to begin sitting. The Anambra gov Governorship Election Petition Tribunal is expected to begin sitting today after receiving two more petitions despite uh, the expiration of the 21 day deadline. Um, a total of um, 13 petitions have been filed against the conduct of the November 6th election. Uh, the latest petitioners, uh, People's Progressive Alliance, uh, uh, APP or what, I don't even know the party, and the mega party MP are seeking the cancellation of the election on grounds of irregularities. Uh, the tribunal is expected to look into the motion as part filed by um, Andy Uba of the All Progressive Congress, APC. Despite the people wanting him not to file it. And he's challenge, challenging the saludo of our progressive Grand Alliance, Abga. Uh, the duo wants the Independent Electoral Commission, INEC, to allow them to inspect materials used during the election. Can you imagine? Anyway, the Secretary of the Tribunal, Surajo Gosal, who spoke to reporters yesterday, said it is only the Tribunal judges or President of the Court of Appeal that could determine if... The APP and MP submitted their petitions within a time limit or not. Well, I mean, while some of the petitioners um, are allegedly working with the respondents uh, for an out-of-court settlement, <laughs> when they hear out-of-court, <laughs> it's like some of them are beggars. <laughs> Maybe they want money and settle us out of court. We are, let's go. However, the special advisor to the governor, Willie Obi, are not on political matters. Ifa to Obi Okoya dismissed the allegations of settlement out of court, stressing Abga's readiness for the legal battle to affirm Soludo's victory. It's only a political party that is not sure of its result that go about pleading for settlement out of court. Um, the entire world knows that uh, we won. This, according to him, he said the election, we won the election, and there is no gain saying. Uh, the obvious fact that uh, some people are in court for an intellectual exercise like they did at the federal high court about a certain form saludo field and ended up getting a fine of two million for wasting taxpayers money you know all police in emily 
investigation revealed that uh, the hearing on the petitions before the tribunal commenced towards the end of the month or early next month. So it's not who, he who calls police that wins. Remember last case, the the, the police they said Soludo made a mistake in uh, filling the reports that where he's supposed to write a number he wrote uh, his local government and two people fired a case against him at the federal high courts it ended up the court ended up awarding soludo two million against the people two million naira <laughs> and they, they said the people the judge said the people wasted taxpayers money <laughs> and so according to this guy he said yeah, it's just exercise you know that they are ready that they are not uh, you know there's an insinuation that they are trying to settle out of court telling people take money and you know close this case they say they are not doing that that they have defender they have oh you no know, this kind of lawyer defending ipob they have it that will defend them in rounding up lady breaks academic record in futo now yeah, federal university of technology where it, uh, becomes first female first class engineering graduate a young female student at Sumtoshi Stella Amuche has broken the jinx by defying all the records to finish with first class from engineering, thereby becoming the first female student to do so. As she is indeed a perfect definition of a beauty with brain. She recently broke the 41 year old academic record of the Federal University of Technology of Wari, Futo by becoming the first female student to bag a first class in the Faculty of Engineering. Engineering oh, hmm, at a prestigious institution. And she is a rare gem. And um, one among bright um, Igbos and Nigerian ladies who are changing the narrative about women. Mm, women, women. Engineering is a field that is usually dominated uh, by men and as such, uh, Suntoshi approved herself to be up to the task and able to compete with her uh, counterparts from the opposite gender. <laughs> it's like a men thing, men's world as engineering. But today, this woman say I had to break the, break the juice. Suntoshi is the second child of Dr. Onyekwere Obara and Mrs. Chinwe Jomo Obara. Ms. Obara was a former um, former rector of Abia State Polytechnic, while uh, Mrs. Obara a banker. Uh, she must be one of the brilliant women on earth to have achieved such academic feat in a highly technical field, such as engineering at a prestigious school as Futo. Futo, you know Futo Engineering, Futo. I like that school. Uh, she started her journey to getting a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering six years ago after emerging as the best graduating uh, student from her secondary school, the Regina Paris College, Abuja, with an eight A's uh, distinction in a 2015 West African Examination Council, Wayek, Wayek. In the same year, she received an award in excellence as the best graduating secondary school student in the Federal Capital Territory, given by the University uh, Commission. Uh, that was not all she became. Um, she became one among um, nine exceptionally gifted students uh, picked uh, um, randomly globally uh, to participate in a Google Andela Running Community, ALC, program in Information Communications Technology, Artificial Intelligence, uh, which was held in Mountain View, California, United States. And I, I thank you so much for um, staying around, um, following us on this channel. Add your comment on the comment section. Oh, that lady. Oh, 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 oh. Um, we at the Igbo Area TV are proud to identify with her.